Hi, and welcome back. I'm afraid this is a bad time. You see, Count Spatula just found out that the Maven of the... I mean, Elisa Hansen has gotten married to Paul Dugan, and now he's sort of... Well, see for yourselves. I gave you my music, made your song take win, and now how you repaid me. Denied me and betrayed me. He was bound to love you when he heard you sing. Maven, Maven. <laughs> hey, Gerard Butler, cut that out. You're being such an emo right now, even for a vampire. Besides, it's not like you and Maven even know each other that well. All he did was interact with her on Twitter a few times and that's it. I... I suppose you have a point. I apologize for my behavior. Does that include all the death threats I've gotten over the years? No, those were all justified. Anyway, the most important thing is that Elisa finds true happiness. And if Po is the one to bring her that, so be it. Although, it will take some time for my cold, non-beating heart to recover. Hmm. Maybe Brad Jones and his friends can help you with that. The cinema snob? You are not going to make me watch his review of Gay Ragyol again, are you? Oh no, trust me. Not after last time. My ribs are still sore. Oh. I am watching a foolish mortal posing as a vampire. I fail to see how such heresy will make me feel better. What? <clears throat> Keep watching. Oh, he just had to mention her, didn't he? Okay, now take it easy. It doesn't have to be me. I mean her. It could be anybody. There's plenty of vampires on the internet, you know. Many people have tried to be like the Messiah, but they forget one very important thing. And that is that the Messiah is the most talented man who has ever lived. And that's how he got to number one. Hush, hush, I thought I heard you calling my name now. Hush. And then along comes Mary. Dude, this empty cup is as sweet as the fudge. I can't imagine why you haven't been getting work in the past. Who are you again? I'm Kirk Cameron. Nah, Kirk Cameron is more likable. The fuck did you just say? I said that you are such an asshole, you make me want to spend time with my stalker, Kirk Cameron. <laughs> And now a man dressed as the Son of God. I am unsure if I should be delighted by this blasphemy or be terrified by the use of Christian imagery. I had to read the prologue from Awoken in character because of you. You just keep watching, okay? This guy's 
wearing a shitty store-bought vampire costume that makes him look like Bella Lugosi's brother. That is one angry person. What is driving him to say such hateful, judgmental things over such petty matters? Does he not have better things to do with this time? Yeah, I know. He's such a douchebag. Enlighten me, freak of nature. What is it with this particular chapter of the fifth anniversary of that guy with the glasses.com that you find so uplifting? Because, quite honestly, I have yet to see it. Look, the reason I like the reviewers so much is that it's about two guys making videos on the internet. Their videos aren't that good, and they aren't that popular, but still they keep doing this because they love it. They love talking about stuff that entertain them, and they love to entertain as well. It's what I want to do. I love movies. I, I love being funny. I love talking about the movies I like. And the fact that Cinema Snob makes something like this is a very nice message. It's basically saying, hey guys, hang on, don't give up, you can always get better, and there will always be some people who like the stuff you do, even if they aren't that many right now. You know, hits don't mean quality, Jeff. I once saw this guy online throwing handfuls of shit into the ceiling fan while his friend ran around trying to catch the raining feces in his asshole. Is that supposed to make me feel better? If no one watches your shit, it doesn't mean that it's bad. It means that it hasn't found its audience yet. He's obviously been there himself, and now he's got fans all over the world. They watch his videos, they go to meet him at conventions, they buy his DVDs. He's worked really hard, and he's encouraging other people to do the same. I appreciate that. Thank you, Brad. If I had wanted a softie for a roommate, I would have moved in with SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> a vampire who watches Nickelodeon. That's amazing. And to all of you out there, have an amazing Halloween! And congratulations to Elise and Paul for getting married. I'm really happy for you too. <laughs> Here we go again!